Hey friends, how are you today? Today's video is about this beautiful wig here. This is by Raquel Welch and this is the Spotlight wig. How beautiful is Spotlight? I always forget the color of this wig. It's either 628 or 630. So it's either bronzed sable or copper mahogany. I'm gonna put right here what it is because I can never remember. I have one of each, not two of these, but I have one in 628 and I have one in 630 and I can never remember which is which, but it's one of them. Um, you can see the highlights. So it has, you know, the darker base of the six and then the highlights are the either the 28 or the 30, I don't remember, but you can see those there. And you know, from different lighting, they're definitely, you know, you can see that they're on the chunkier side, like right in this in this area. It's really, really pretty, and it really adds dimension to this cut. It does have a lot of layers, so you can see here, uh, it has a pretty long, for me, bang. This is one of the True to Life fibers by Raquel. That means that you can put heat on her, okay? So you can put heat on her under like 350 degrees so you have to be careful of course this is also a hand tied cap and it was my very first hand tied cap you know what it fits so nicely if you're more on the large circumference it might feel a little bit tight but let me just say that i was listening to a, a live stream thing with hair you wear and they were looking at raquel welch styles one of their head stylists i guess is what he is frank campanelli or something um he was saying that the hand tied caps even if you think that you might they might be too tight he said that with your body heat you know in your head that it sometimes makes them stretch out so i i don't i can't speak to that because i do have more of a uh, petite average so it fits me fine but i can't speak to someone who would have like an average large on the average large side you have to remember that because she is the true to life fibers she tangles okay so you have to definitely keep that in mind and have to understand that if you're gonna have a wig that's long like this it's gonna be rubbing up against your clothes right and it's gonna create that friction and it's gonna tangle and it's gonna get that coarse feeling okay so I'm just gonna show you let's see if you can see maybe up close the fibers there and they do feel like I can feel a difference between here and here okay so obviously nothing's rubbing against the hair here but it is down here so if you wear this out you would definitely need to take with you a wide tooth comb or something to brush it out here and there because or comb it out here and there because it will get tangly I don't know if you're gonna be able to see I'm gonna kind of move like this so hopefully you can see what she looks like in the back and on the sides I can't get out too much further um, so it's gonna, just gonna be hard for you to see kind of the 360 I will try to actually do one outside get my husband to help me and um, try to do one outside so you can see really what it looks like on all sides Now, because this is a hand tied cap, it is going to look like real hair. So you really do get that movement of real hair coming out of your scalp. It's That's one of the beauties of the hand tied cap. So you can see there, when I move, you can see, right? You can part her anywhere. I'm gonna kind of brush her out, just a little, or comb her out, I should say, just a little bit. And you can see that I can part her pretty much anywhere, okay? That's the beauty of this hand tied cap. Before I started doing these videos today, I, I filmed a couple. Um, I just sprayed her just a little bit with some non-alcohol hairspray, which I think is Pantene, I think is what I got. And then I also put a little bit of John Renault Peace Out Cream in the front. So I had her going this way and I just put a little bit there in the front just to kind of hold and make her stay. Now you can see that of course, and this is, this is an issue 
with every wig, um, pretty much every wig, that you're gonna have these flyaways, okay? You're just gonna have them. So you can either, you know, keep a little bit of hairspray with you, maybe a small bottle, keep one at your desk at work. That's what I have. I have a non, um, an alcohol-free bottle of hairspray at my desk. So I just keep spray it before I go and teach so that it will stay out of my face. Some people don't mind the strays in your face. I can't handle it. Now, is this just Raquel Welch? Absolutely not. This is literally every wig that I have. So you'll see me a lot with my hair, you know, pulled to one side with a clip. And I do that for a reason because I can't handle those hairs in my face and in my eyes. You can definitely comb her and put the part really wherever you want. So I think that is so awesome about this hand tied cap or if you have a mono, uh, complete mono top, you can of course do that with those as well. So how can you style this beautiful wig? So you see here that I pulled it back and I didn't do a really good job of it, but I pulled it back just to get it off my face. And you can see that beautiful lace front there. And of course the um, highlights are put there in the front. Take it out. Now, of course, because she is hand uh, tied, you can, you know, pull her over here. You're not going to see anything. You're not going to see any cap or anything back here. Um, you can pull her back also into, I would do like a low pony. I mean, if I lift up right there, I don't know. Can you see that? You probably can, right? So if I lift up really, really far, then yeah, you're going to see it. But if I just do a low pony or if I even do like a clip here, right, you're not going to see anything there. So I think that's awesome. You could, of course, do a headband. A headband would look great. But you know what? If you have this long, beautiful hair, you might just want to leave it down. All right, let's look at her hand tied cap. First of all, let me show you that lace front. So you can see there, the beautiful highlights are put in the front. So it really does look like it's growing out of your scalp. I'm going to turn her inside out. You do have that mono top there. So that means that you can part her wherever you want. And you can see all this is hand tied. So all this that you see, all of this to the other side is hand tied. And then of course the mono part, or excuse me, the mono top is also hand tied. There are a few wefts back here and that is to kind of give it some structure, give it some body. There's not permatease there. I'll talk about that in just a second. I do wanna show you the ear tabs are nice. Where are we at here <laughs> are nice and soft and of course it has the metal stay in it. it is an extended nape and velcro adjusters Let's look at how stretchy it is you know it's i mean it's a hand tied so it's not going to have a ton of stretch i do have it pulled in uh, a little bit there let's talk about the permatees okay so there's not permatees here but when you have a hand tied cap like this one the nature of it being hand tied makes it have a little bit more body. And that's what I noticed with the other one that I have. And um, I think that's just how hand tied caps are. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and feel here. All right, so this is where the wefts are in the back. All right, here's the nape right there. Okay, um, but the wefts are right there. There is no permatease here, okay? Um, there is no permatease here, but you can see it does have body there on the top, right? You can see that. And that's a good thing because if not, it's just gonna lay flat on your head and it's not gonna move. You're not gonna have any movement to it, all right? So you definitely want to have a little bit of movement, movement whether it be from permatease, <laughs> a little bit of lift, or from a hand tied cap. Let's go ahead and look at this beautiful color now that I have it off. Isn't that beautiful? That is just a, an absolutely gorgeous color. You can really see the highs and lows there. Gorgeous. So before I go, I have to thank Raquel Welch. They sent me this wig because they named me as the September Spotlight 
winter. And they do like a spotlight for every month, I believe. And I was their September winner. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Raquel Welch for sending me this beautiful wig. They let me pick out any one that I wanted and they even helped me because I wasn't sure about a color and they helped me with this one. So I really do appreciate that. I was not asked to make this video. I, I don't even think they know that I make YouTube videos to be quite honest, um, but I didn't pay for it. They sent it to me. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. Follow me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram handle right here. I will follow you back. But again, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye.